As a former Champ Car IndyCar Open Wheel, Impson sports car team owner, and longtime professional sports car team manager experiences in his background, Tyler Tadovic brings a wealth of motorsport experience from the, from the very highest levels of competitive pursuit. He even fielded in an effort to compete in the Indianapolis 500. Winning is not a foreign result to whatever type of racing series Tyler is involved in. From capturing a series championship with title with John Fogarty in Champ Car to the most recent results of Circuit of the Americas and St. Petersburg in the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup class in the Pirelli World Challenge with Sloan Uri, the proven understanding of process in the logistics, preparation, team coordination, and racing series political environment deliver consistent color at the bottom of the pan. As husband, father, friend and teacher, team manager, and president of True Speed Autosport, Tyler Tadovic expects top-level results with everything he applies his attention to. Welcome, Tyler Tadovic. Thanks, Adam. Glad to be here, man. I appreciate that. I was quite, quite a preamble, man. I, I've got to have my wife read that. I've got to <laughs> Well, True Speed Autosports team and driver Sloan Yuri are coming off of a string of three straight wins in the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup class and the Pirelli World Challenge, one at Circuit of the Americas, and back-to-back -back wins during the second race weekend of 11 planned. Before we discuss this season, when did you become involved with Costa Mesa-based True Speed operation? What uh, a was achieved working with Rob Morgan and the Morgan family operation, and what led to your purchase of True Speed Autosport about a year ago? Well, um, uh, it's, it's interesting actually how I ended up here. You know, in my previous life, uh, I owned a company called Pacific Coast Motorsports, and when the bottom fell out of the economy in 2008, at the time we were running Mario Dominguez in the IndyCar series, and uh, we did several events in 2008, but uh, when the bottom fell out, I ended up losing everything. Uh, I had, uh, you know, my house was repossessed, off my truck, had a big 10,000 square foot stop in Oxnard. I ended up losing everything uh, in very unceremonious fashion. And uh, it's been a year, moved back to Oregon where I'm from. It's been a year working for my friends at Fuel Safe Racing Cells. And uh, was at the PRI show, collecting uh, fuel cells on behalf of Fuel Safe. And uh, ran into my buddy Boris Dead. He knew a guy here in Southern California who was looking for a race team manager. That happened to be Mike Davis. And, and uh, uh, Brandon Davis, the guy at the ACS Express. And so they had planned the GT2 uh, effort in the air uh, I came down and interviewed with them, uh, hired right away. This is at the end of 2010, basically. Uh, uh, excuse me, end of 2009. Uh, spent some time working there for a year. We actually went over to France and got the right to homologate our own GT4 GT chassis from Daniel Petrie and the ACO. I worked really hard to do some things, and in 2000 and end of 2010, we were looking at uh, building our own car and, and really campaigning a full effort in 2011. At that time, then Mike Davis sold his company, and I went from having a two-year deal to looking for work again. Uh, already moved my family back down here to Southern California, and uh, just started knocking on doors. Uh, a cooperative uh, relationship got me in the front door here at True Speed. Uh, at the time, they were also interviewing Dennis Ozzie. Very famous race car driver and uh, a longtime Porsche sports car guy as well. Uh, interviewing both of us, Dennis brought a couple of mechanics, a couple of customers, and a truck. I brought myself, and so they chose to hire Dennis. Uh, I literally said, Well, man, I got to see my family. I've got a commercial license. I drive a truck for you or something, man. I, I got to make the end meet. And so uh, that's what I did. I ended up driving the, uh, the coach for them to the first event of the 2011 season uh, at World Challenge. Uh, St. Petersburg, we had Pat Moore running for us at that time, ended up winning both the events. Uh, they asked me back to do the same thing for them at Long Beach, and at the event at Long Beach, they offered me the general manager, uh, the GM position. So I ended up going from, uh, from the truck driver to the GM in about nine weeks, and I went from competing with Dennis for a job to having him be my employee uh, nine weeks later. So it was a pretty immediate rise to, to the top here at uh, True Speed, uh, and I directly because they needed the help, and I was, I think, the right person to stop at the time. Uh, we ended up winning the championship in 2011 in the GT category of Pat Long. They were pretty proud to say we're the only team or the last team that has beat General Motors for that championship since they were turned to World Challenge. 
uh, and so uh, uh, in the 49 2011 um, uh, and things then progressed from there we had a couple of other championships and then in, in uh, 2012 it would be uh, no, well, excuse me during the 2013 is when I actually purchased the company so uh, basically what it came down to is uh, Rob and Tom I uh, can't say enough about the Morgans and the opportunities they provided me uh, they had decided they were going to take a back seat and not do a lot of racing anymore uh, basically, we had a really good customer lineup of club racers. And so uh, Rob said, hey, listen, if you want to continue down the racing road, I'd be glad to sell you the equipment and the company. And so I rounded up some, some uh, uh, um, uh, customers who were wealthy, and they saw fit to uh, loan me the money to buy the company. And so I bought the company. Due to this year, we'll make three years that I've owned the company. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've just been and grow and done everything we've done organically from us. Uh, from our core racing program and from our old town program. So it's been a pretty uh, crazy run and, and not too sure how I ended up back in the owner's seat again, but I'm uh, super thankful to be here. And, and man, I've got a great group of guys and, and a great group of customers and uh, some really good stuff going on this year. So I'm, I'm super thankful. Well, um, 2015, last year, was a pretty big year for True Speed Auto Sport, uh, with a working partnership being worked out with um, Kelly Moss Porsche and driver Colin Thompson. The team um, had a hand in securing the Pirelli World Challenge 911 GT3 Cup Class Championship and runner-up with Sloan Yuri. What are the keys to success uh, in that breakout season? Well, I'll show it to you. You know, it was a... It was a uh it was a great relationship with Jeff Stone and the guys at Kelly Ma. Uh, really what it came down to was uh, neither one of us had enough of a customer base to make the season work on our own. I reached out to Jeff and said, hey, man, you know, what, what about Rock and Run here? Sharing some resources to make it possible for us to, to go racing and still uh, make the ends meet. And so that was kind of the genesis for the relationship. It was more a financial reality than anything else. Ultimately, yeah, we did have a good success we here last year. Uh, frankly, I, I, I wanted to be a bit more competitive, and there were some difficulties with having, uh, you know, two teams under one pin and and, and uh, having one team beating the other team. I was, it was, it was some frustration, but uh, there were some lessons learned there for sure. Uh, certainly, I think it put Sloan in the appropriate position to do what he's doing this year. Uh, I wouldn't change anything looking back over my shoulder, uh, but it was, uh, it was a great, it was a great uh, growing experience for everybody. And honestly, I, I'd like to think that uh, you know it was a true cooperative effort. We brought as much to the table as, as the guys at Kelly Moff did, and, and, and collectively we dominated the field. So it was a good thing for both of us. On True Speed Autosports Facebook page, it mentions that True Speed has drivers in both diamond and platinum classes competing this year in the Pirelli World Challenge, and that you are fielding challenges in other series as well. Please tell us more where True Speed Autosport is racing and supporting. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, and you know, we, we're, we're racing in, in primarily two locations this year. Uh, one is the World Challenge Series in the GT Cup category with one car after with Sloan Yuri with uh, evasive and security national mortgage sponsorship. Uh, that program is absolutely our, our premier level program. Uh, the reason we go professional racing is not to make money, but to keep our name out there to show our abilities to race at the highest levels and, and to, uh, to garner exposure for the brand. So uh, that effort, uh, thankfully, has had a great start to the year. We've got three wins under our belt, four full positions. Uh, the car is running extremely well. The team's running extremely well. So, uh, well, that is the thing. That program is going great. Really, though, when I uh, make my bread and butter and where I really prefer to race and, 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 and where I have a lot more fun, to be totally honest, is in the, uh, uh, the Pirelli Drivers Cup. Uh, it's run by a company called Constant Motorsports. Uh, Greg Farms runs the series. Respectively, a duplicate of the IMSA GT2 series. These are Porsche specific series. you got to run a stock cup car. They run 991, 997 Gen 2, and uh, then the new uh, came in GT4. Uh, uh, at the last event at Coda, we had, uh, I think, something close to 38 cars in the field. Uh, I'm fortunate to be running one car in the diamond category, which is the 991. I'm running four cars in the um, uh, platinum category, which are the Gen 2 997. And uh, we did run a GT4 at the last event. It doesn't look like we're going to continue forward with that car. Excuse me, but um, uh, yeah, the Pirelli Drivers Cup is where I really love to go racing, and, and this is an interesting part, you know. With pro racing, it's so much about the other things in racing, 
post activation, uh, you know, getting the guests there, making sure you have the pump is taken care of. <laughs> Excuse me, and then down the road, you worry about competitiveness. The thing I love about my club nursing program, I've got a number of guys, great customers. My job, number one, is to help them go fast at the racetrack, and that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so to finish up, <clears throat> excuse me, um, racing in the World Talent Series, racing in the Pirelli Drivers' Cup, and then we also do a number of other club events with NASA, Porsche Owners Club, Porsche Club of America, Porsche Car Club of America. Um, the nifty thing about my business model at this point is that uh, I found the means by which to uh, be profitable and be uh, uh, fairly stable in, in an environment and an industry where there is none of that. And so uh, pro racing provides me the brand, club racing provides me the diversity of revenue stream and number of things to go do uh, that make it possible. And frankly, the Porsche Cup car, there's no other mark on the planet that I can make this all work with. So I uh, really have sort of been through uh, a lot of trial and error, and frankly, a lot of failure. Uh, well, I've been able to find a, a, a business model that initiates my need to go racing. I still get to go do what I love to do for a living. And simultaneously, I don't have to rely on one person or one entity to make it all work. So it's, uh, it's a very fortunate place. I find myself in a very, very cool spot to be really, really proud to be a part of it. As mentioned before, True Speed Autosports team and driver Sloan Yuri are coming off a string of three straight wins in four races. Where, what venues do you see Sloan Yuri, given his driving style, may have an advantage, and which venues pose the biggest challenge? Well, I'll share with you, uh, you know, fortunately we are done with the street circuit this year, right? We don't race Long Beach. We had two wins there at St. Petersburg. Sloan in his past, uh, and in as well, had a lot of luck, I think, at uh, Cleveland uh, as well. We were. He had some good luck in the street circuit there. Uh, he has a really innate ability to ring a car's neck. It doesn't seem to be set back by the location of the wall. So to be honest, I wish we had a couple more street circuits because that's where he really seems to have a leg up on his competition. He's fearless, which is, uh, makes it great. Um, some of the more technical courses, like we'll do the take that and this point, I believe those will be the places where we have uh, continued to see that advantage. Uh, I've got a really great guy, Tim Lewis, who's engineering the car for me this year. Uh, he's the same guy who engineered Stoberty's car to a championship in 04. He's worked with me for years and years. So I really feel like I've got a strong engineering staff. We've got Ryan Dial, who's helping us out on the driver coaching and chassis setup for the thing. Obviously, with his help um, uh, and experience, he and I go back a long ways as well, as you know. Uh, I really feel like I've got a super strong effort underneath Sloan. And frankly, he's driving my out right now. So. Um, as to where we're going to have issues, man, I, I'd like to think that this year, uh, with the level that he's driving at and the level he's performing at, that, you know, we'll have competition everywhere, but there's not going to be one single place where we really see ourselves deficient as compared to others. I think we're pretty strong across the board, and I think he truly is. Earlier in your career, you showed success in open wheel racing. This year, Indianapolis Motor Speedway will be holding its 100th Indy 500. Would you consider fielding an effort to contest the Indy 500 sometime in the future? Is this still a dream? Well, I'll tell you, that was a pretty pretty sour experience with my IndyCar experience and the Indy 500 and the way it all ended up for my organization. Uh, that said, honestly, I can't say enough good things about, you know, I started by Barnhart and Tony, uh, who... <laughs> You know, everyone hates them, and, and there's all kinds of bad things that were said, but, and, and I hated them as well, but I'll be honest, man, they were very kind and helpful. They helped me make it through 2008, which I, I shouldn't have. Uh, but at the end of the day, in my opinion, open wheel racing is, uh, is a lost cause in North America. I really feel too bad about that, but it's just it's unfortunate that that makes you such good racing on the TV. Like, really, the races are fantastic, and no one's paying attention. So uh, it's just too bad. If someone came to me with a bucket of money and said, hey, I'd like to go do this, and I think you're the guy that got that, uh, you know, I'm in the business of motorsport. I'm not in the hobby of motorsport. So I would look at every opportunity uh, uh, equally as close. And, uh, you know, given the right set of circumstances, I would certainly do it again. And uh, is it a dream? Well, I mean, it's Indy 500, right? So ultimately, whether or not it's a dream, it's still still a, 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 an achievement that is, uh, you know, not a lot of people can say it's done. So um, under the right set of circumstances, I would do it. 
And I've made my home in sports car at this point. Uh, I really love what I do. I'm so thankful to Porsche. I'm so thankful to my customers, my sponsors, you know, Mother's Wax, Justice Brothers, you know, uh, uh, Fuel Cells, uh, Fuel Cells, Ironside Gloves. I mean, these are guys that have been supporters of mine. They're coming on 20 years now. And I'm, uh, I'm so thankful to them for them following me over here to Sports Car. And I'll be honest, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I've made my bed right here and I couldn't be more happy. Uh, open wheel is, is not something that I would pursue again unless the circumstances were perfectly correct. With the great season start, we look forward to following True Speed and Slow Nuri. Uh, the balance of this uh, 20 race, uh, the Pirelli World Challenge season. Uh, thank you, Tyler. Uh, President, Team Manager, True Speed Autosport. Thank you very much, Ed. I'd love to talk to you anytime. Cheers.